Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a really cool Cybertruck style wheel covers for Tesla Model Y. This is 19 inch wheel covers for um, standard stock Gemini um, 19 inch Model Y. I know what you're gonna say. This is probably not everybody cup of tea, um, but I think it's really cool and also it looks really efficient as you can see it's pretty much um, no cutouts on the wheels at all um, it's small little cutouts I will show you later in the video so today I will show you what comes in the box and then a quick installation and then show you more details about the about the wheel covers it looks really efficient but will they be efficient as they look so that I will test it later in the video and we'll see at the end how efficient are these wheel covers. Now let's go. Let's see what comes in the box of this Cybertruck style wheel covers from T-Rex Styling. So these came in the box. There are four covers, two for the left and two for the right. These are um, directional actually, I'll show you later. And also the protective adhesive tip one row over there should be enough for all of them so you will have to apply this um, underneath the rear covers and also the removal tools right there the orange one um, let's take a closer look okay so here's the rear covers itself if you look at it from the front view straight like this you wouldn't think it has any um, ventilation or cutout at all um, but when I turn as you can see here so here are some cutouts on one side of these spokes so this would help um, ventilate the heat from the brakes hopefully it's enough it should be enough because you don't use a lot of brakes um, from on the Tesla cars anyways a lot of region that you use and also a small um, let me turn around you can see better you see small cutouts here so it came in with no um, protective tape in the rear so you, that's why you have to install it so you basically, basically install all around the wheel covers on the inside and then if you have any left over left I would suggest install on the clips here so it doesn't damage um, the wheels but the clip is not really sharp as you can see let me show you there so this is where the clip will attach your alloy wheels all right now let's apply the protective tape on the cover all right as you can see here I already apply the protective tape that came with the package on the inside of the cover and I also added the protective tape on the clips so this will protect it from scratching your wheels or your rims and it should help with removing it also so when you need to remove it for tire rotation this will help these are um, directional as I mentioned before um, let me show you why it is directional as you can see these two wheels the cutout you see this one the cutout is on this side of the spoke but this one the cutout is on this side of the spoke so it came in with a label on the plastic bag like this like left L for left it didn't have any label on here in the back of the wheels at all like uh, the previous one I reviewed before so I just basically took that um, sticker and put in the back of the wheel so I know of the cover so I I know I would know when I install it which one is for which so the reason why this has to be directional because the cutout should face the rear of the car so when you, the car drive the wind would go out this direction so it doesn't go in the cutout at all so it doesn't create any drag or less drag versus if this cutout facing the front of the car so when you drive the wind will go into the cutout and will create more drag and less aerodynamic for um, the covers and, and entire car when it drives so hopefully these wheel covers will have a good result when we test it on the um, efficiency test later in the video 
All right, now we saw everything in the box. Let's go and install it on my Tesla Model Y. Before we install the Cybertruck wheel covers, let me show you how to remove the stock Gemini wheel cover first. So basically grab hold um, off one of these spokes right here and then pull it towards yourself. Um, Sometimes it comes out at once, or if it if it is not, then you just pull um, one by one and then next to the next. So let's try first. So just grab spoke, pull it out. See? It's not the whole the whole thing doesn't come out. So just pull the next one, the next one on this side. Then the whole thing should come out. So now let's um, install the Cybertruck style wheel covers. So make sure, like I did, I put the sticker in the back so I know this is for the right side of the car. Or if um, you forgot to put it, uh, make sure, as you can see here, so this part that doesn't have cut out a hole right here, facing this, facing the front of the car. So first, um, find where the, the valve stem is, which is right here. and. It's also a valve stem cut out on the cover itself. So just mash the valve stem like so there and then just pop it in. That's it. Pretty easy and you still have a full access to a valve stem. So if you want, you need to feel the air then you can just do it without removing the covers. All right. Let me show a quick comparison between with and without the covers. Oh, let me show you something real quick. So the cover does not come with the logo at all. And I tried to fit the logo that I got from Amazon. It doesn't fit either. Let me show you real quick. So I got this one from um, Amazon.com. It doesn't really fit. I guess the base is a little bit too big for the, car, um, for the logo, the center cab logo. So I guess I just have to rock it without logo. All right, let's um, compare side by side real quick and then I'll install the rest of it and we will go out for a test. All right, here's side by side comparison between the Cybertruck cover. Looks really mean because there's no um, cutout at all. It's like a whole thing black. And this is the stock cover from Tesla. All right, let me put the rest of the covers on my car and then I'll show you what they look like overall on my Tesla Model Y. All right, the installation is done. Turned out pretty cool actually. Um, look, they look better than I thought. I kind of like it though. Hopefully it is efficient. All right, let me show you the overall look on my Tesla Model Y with these wheel covers on. Okay, so let me show you real quick before we go out and test. You see this is um, the left side of the car if I face out sitting in the car. Make sure there's no cutout facing this way. Let's check out on the right. You see that? No cutout facing this way. So that's why these are directional. So two for the left side um, for the right side and two for the left side of the car. Alright, let's go and test these cover out. So I'm gonna test these first and then do the route trip and then come back and then change it back to a stock covers and then I'll test the same exact distance, same route on the stock covers too. Let's go. Alright, so let me show you the um, status of the car real quick before we leave. So it's, we have 76% of the battery. It's 10 a.m. right now. It's 73 Fahrenheit outside. So we'll do a loop style. So I'll go get on the freeway, on the highway. So this test will be mostly highway, about 30 miles round trip. And then I'll loop and come back to the house and change the covers. 
and then go back and do the same route same distance again on the stock covers and I will try to be as consistent as possible I will set the max speed on autopilot at 72 and I'll be try to be on um, autopilot as much as I could on the highway and we are going to set this uh, trip right here so I relabel it to wheel covers test so I will re reset now zero 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 all right now let's go and test these covers out stay on autopilot as much as I could. Now let's continue with the test. We are back home. Um, let's see the efficiency of these cyber truck star wheel covers. So we have 64% of the battery left and let's see this is where we reset the wheel covers test so the distance travel is 37 miles we use 9 kilowatt hour um, from the battery and this is the average energy use 238 watt hour per mile um, so the weather increased i think by the time i drove back the weather increased like two degrees which is not bad all right now let's change the covers back to the stock wheel covers and then we test another one right away so because I don't want anything to change much the traffic um, the wind the weather let's go all right this is a great opportunity for me to show you how to remove the Cybertruck wheel covers. so just use this trim removal tool that came in the package and then just pop the top open like this enough space just put your finger in and pull it out it's really really simple um, I didn't expect it to be this easy to remove now let me change all the wheels and then change the stock covers back in let's change the rest of the wheel covers all right now let's go do another test right away all right let's reset the same thing wheel covers test right here reset that and do the second test with the original stock we are covers. Let's go. All right, with the second test, um, with the stock wheel covers, the same here. I set max autopilot at 72 miles an hour, and then on chill mode, and we will go the same exact direction and route go all the way over there and then come back the same route. Let's continue with the test. All right, I'm back at home. Let's check out the result here. As you can see, the distance is pretty much exact the same, of course. Um, 37 miles that we travel um, route trip and total energy use um, I believe it's the same 9 kilowatt hours and average energy consumption here this one is a little higher 250 watt hour per mile all right so we know the cyber trucks wheel covers a little bit better efficiency wise but I will show you the whole details of um, calculation and we'll see how many miles can those cyber truck wheel covers can actually um, improve and add to your um, daily commute let's go these are the test results that we got from earlier 
distance are the same 37 miles total energy use are the same to 9 kilowatt hours only difference are average energy use on these two wheel covers so the cybertruck style covers use 238 watt hour per mile and the oem wheel covers use 250 watt hour per mile now before we get the right numbers let's talk about the battery capacity of this 2023 tesla model y long range so the full capacity is 82 kilowatt hours but only has 76.5 kilowatt hours of usable capacity so we have to convert that um, from kilowatt hours to watt hours basically multiplied by 1000 which will get 76,500 watt hours after that we will use usable capacity of the battery and divide by the average energy that we got from the test so the cyber truck style wheel covers would get 321.4 miles full charge so basically if i were to drive from 100 percent down to zero i would get this many miles and the oem covers would get 306 miles for full charge so basically this cyber truck style wheel covers would give me 15.4 miles of range boost to this 2023 tesla model y long range i was really awesome compared to the oem covers i didn't expect it to um, give me this many miles more than the original wheel covers and this is probably one of the most efficient wheel covers i have tested so far i would definitely use these wheel covers for the road trip in the future all right guys as you saw in the result wow i'm pretty impressed with this Cybertruck style wheel covers. I thought it just um, crazy looking wheel covers that doesn't um, give any benefit at all, but it actually adds or give you 15 miles range boost to your Tesla Model Y if you were to drive um, from 100% down to zero. I think the um, directional part helps a lot because the cutout, it's on the other side of the wheels, so it doesn't create extra drag when you drive on the highway especially as a result it offers better efficiency compared to the stock wheel covers all right let me know in the comment down below what you think about these cyber truck wheel covers and thank you so much guys for watching today's video i'll make sure to put the link of these wheel covers in the description down below and the discount code um, for you too and don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome contents like this and check out the merch just right below this video see you on the next video peace